Hi everybody, this is Frank Cox, SmokerBuilder.com. Um, in our last video, we talked about how to uh, install the 120 GF hinges like you see right here. Uh, these are our most popular hinge. We have those on uh, BarbecueSmokerSupply.com, SmokerPlans.net, and a few other sites that we have. Um, what I'm going to tell you about is, uh, you know, we covered as a refresher the proper way to install the hinge and get it twisted right and lined up and things like that. What we're going to talk about this time is orientation of the next hinge. And so bear with me as I use my phone here. Um, I talked to you about using a, a straight edge as you go down the length to get this hinge in line with the other hinge, right? Using a level or a straight edge or whatever you have available to you. So say we've got this on the other end of the cook chamber and we've got it in line with where we want to go with it. Now we're going to talk about where to weld on the next hinge. Um, if you notice on this hinge, the back side back here is, we is welded and the front side of this one is welded onto the cook chamber door. So on the next hinge, you can go two different ways with this. First of all, there's, there's no top or bottom to this hinge. You can put this any direction you want, up or down, vertical, whatever you want to do. And it ain't going to make any difference as far as uh, the performance of the hinge or the cook cook chamber door or anything like that. So what I always do is I choose whatever's going to be the easiest way to get the grease gun in there to put new grease on the on the grease dirt. You got to keep that in mind because other obstructions might be there. So on this particular cooker I've got another one beside it. So I'm going to point both grease fittings the same direction on this cook chamber door. So if I was putting this on the other end it would face like this. Now if you notice the way that I welded this other hinge on there I've got this part welded. Now if I come over here and I weld it the same way, when I open the door, the hinges are going to be able to slide apart and the door can fall off. Now if you want your door to be removable, say on a firebox, that's fine, or a warming cabinet, something like that, just to make it easier to clean, um, that's okay to do that. But you want to keep in mind on a big cook chamber door or a big heavy insulated door on a cabinet or something, you got to be careful for that because if that door was to fall off, you know, it would it'd hurt somebody or kill them or whatever, you know, especially on a, on a, uh, a big tank or pipe uh, smoker. So instead, the way I do it is if I welded my first hinge on this side, I'm going to go to the other side of this one. That way, the two middle pieces will be welded on the inside on the, on the same part on the back side back here. Now, which one you weld which way doesn't matter just so that you you oppose the the same side so on the cook chamber door this side will be welded of this hinge and this side will be welded of this hinge and that way when you open the door or you're traveling down the highway on a trailer and the trailer's shaking and stuff you won't have a problem of your door you know coming loose and falling off the trailer or something crazy like that so just keep in mind and plan and and uh, if you've got any questions about this kind of stuff also Feel free to uh, contact us at smokerbuilder.com. Go to our forums, and uh, there's all kinds of, uh, you know, different categories on there and different forums, and uh, you get the, the wealth of knowledge of not just myself but everyone on the forum, uh, and, uh, you know, they're eager to help you. So uh, check us out on Facebook. Join our site, smokerbuilder.com forums, and uh, be watching on Facebook. We announce all kinds of new things we're doing and ways you can get involved. Thank you very much. Have a good day.